Hi family and welcome to my channel and to this video and if you're new, welcome, don't forget to subscribe and be a part of Didi family. But I'm here today to compare the new Revolution blur, Pore Blur Primer with the old Revolution Pro Pore Primer. I want to see what the difference is, I want to see which one is better. I've been talking about this a lot in, on my channel, I really like this uh, primer, I like what it does to my pores. It does. Um, Minimize them a lot. They're still visible, but not terrible visible. I like it, but I said that I won't repurchase it because of the packaging. This black color from this cap goes off on my hands and then it's getting all over my face. So I don't like this packaging though. This one, I hope it's a little bit different. Still, I didn't, I just opened it, so I have no idea. But I'm curious to see what the difference. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this primer came out last year and I've been really liking it. I told her it immediately when it came out. I'm almost done with it. So that is why I'm doing this video now, because I still have the product and I want to see how it's working. This one is more expensive than this one. And this one just came out. So I'm thinking, uh, let me see, you get 25 milliliters in this one, you get 28 in this one. So you get more product for less money. Is it better then? I'm kind of curious to see. Uh, the ingredients are not really the same, but we'll see. You can, I will put link down below so you can check it out. I'm not re really an expert in the ingredients, but I can see in the ingredients list they are not really the same. Uh, let me see, let me read about this product on Revolution Beauty's website. So this one is $10 and it says prep and smooth with, the, prep and smooth with Revolution Pro Pore Primer. The oil-free formula glides on, leave a satin finish, satin matte finish, then softens the appearance of large pores and creates a perfectly even base for makeup. This cream gel primer also has a subtle peach tint to color correct discoloration and dark spots. Apply all over the face or just to problem areas and blend out with using the fingertips. So I've been using it especially on my T-zone, not all over my face. So $10 and you get 25 milliliters and it has how many stars? Let me see. Four stars. 27 reviews, four stars. Then we have this new primer, Revolution Pore Blur Primer, and this costs $8, $8, and you get 28 milliliters, so you get more product for less money. We understand a large pores can be a nightmare. These picky holes, deep roots in the skin can drive us crazy, Reduce and minimize the appearance of pores with Revolution Pore Blur Primer. This is your answer to a poreless and smooth looking base. Apply the silky gel formula to the face after moisturizing and before foundation. The, the peach primer will blur the appearance of pores and set makeup in place all day. Contains, contains antioxidant rich vitamin E to help nurturing your skin. Okay, this uh, promise a lot. So, I'm very curious to see which one is better. So, what I'm going to do, I already moisturized my skin. I'm going to use this uh, Hourglass Veal Primer that I've been using a lot. And I'm using that because I know how it works on my skin. So, I'm going to apply it everywhere. My fingertips. I don't want to use another primer because I'm so used to this one when I use the Revolution Pro Blur or Pore Primer. So let's zoom in a little bit. So let's go in with this primer. I can squeeze a little bit of the product out. It's, it's like peachy and I already got some black dots on my hand. It's kind of peachy and I'm going to apply it to this side. Oh, oh, I applied a little bit too much. And it does blur my skin. I 
I think I applied a little bit too much, but uh, I used a lot. But I just now maybe you can see a difference. This is more blurred than this side. So we on this side we have this primer. I'm going to clean my hands and let's go in with this primer. I haven't swatched it. I haven't opened it. Nothing. This is more. Uh, like yellow peachy shade. It's kind of different than the other one, but it feels the same. Uh, definitely another shade, but it feels the same. It feels silicone. It feels like it's going into my pores. Hope this one will work because I and the packaging won't disappoint me like the other one has. I know I can't see any difference right now. It feels like this one is more bright than this side, but I don't know. I will use just a little bit more to really be sure that it's in my pores in there. So both of them blurred my pores. I can't see any difference right now. But I'll see after applying foundation if there is going to be any difference between these two. So I'm going to apply my foundation and do my makeup and I'll be back soon. Yeah, I'll be back. Hi guys, I just applied my eye makeup and I want to do the foundation together on camera. So I'm using my Active All Day Wear Isadora. I want to do this together with you so you can see together with me how it's applying on the skin. Let's go in with that first pro. Okay, so I just applied my foundation and I can see that, I don't know if you see any difference in the camera, but right now, the both sides look very blurred. I don't see any difference. I really can't see any difference between the sides. So then I'm going to go off camera fast and just finish my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, it's 30, it's, it's around one o'clock and I will finish my makeup. Hi everyone and welcome back. I've been having this makeup on for around eight hours. I'm not more oily than usual when I use these kind of primers. Let me see if there is any difference between these two. I haven't touched up, I haven't done anything. Uh, I have to look very close. I have some mascara. The bold, both sides are oily. It's, it's the same. Pores look the same, they are still not visible. My nose looks good, my chin looks good, my forehead looks good. I mean, overall, everything looks exactly the same on both sides. I can't see any difference. I don't know if you can see anything, please let me know, but, because, but I can't see anything. I mean, it looks like I have the same, uh, the same primer all over my face. So let me just remind you that on this side we have the Revolution Pro that costs $10 and you get uh, 25 milliliters and on this side we have the new pore blur that is eight dollars and you get 28 milliliters and this is the results after eight and a, eight and a half hours everything looks the same my pores are still very minimized I really like how it looks on my skin that's why I really like this product I just hated the packaging like I said a million times let me swatch this for you so you can see 
the shades the only difference between them them two if they feel light on the skin they feel like that uh, silky texture um, th they feel exactly the same the only difference between these two is shade the only difference and let me show you so and if you can see this one it's that Makeup Pro, Revolution Pro, the old one, and this is the new one. This one is more peachy or more pink than the other one, but they feel exactly the same. That's the only difference, that's color. But they feel exactly the same on the skin, uh, they do the same job, and I think I'm going to like this one because I really love that uh, this one I really loved it I just didn't like the packaging and you get more product for less money so I approve this one I think it's a good pro product so guys on my lips I do have I almost forgot to tell you what I have on my lips I have this is Caitlyn Light and uh, Colourpop collection or collab in uh, Rivere Rivere can't remember I really like this shade it goes very nice with my uh, eyes today so guys that was everything i hope you like this video please let me know if you tried any of revolution makeup revolutions uh, primers what do you think about them are you after something like this to minimize your pores have you tried it have you not are you interested let me know down below thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't and i hope i see you in my next video i love you all bye